Hi, I'm Amal Abdul Khalik, better known as AF the Naysayer. You know, you're about to hit the stage. Tell us what's going through your mind right now before you actually hit that stage at Buku Fest. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm trying to keep it clear and blank, just meditating and just trying to release all negative energy so I can just focus on having a great performance. You know, how did you get to the level that you're at right now? Oh, being really stubborn and just pushing what I want, you know, and not like, not taking no for an answer, you know, just hard work. Yeah, I've been at it since 2007 and now I'm here. When you got the phone call, you got the acceptance letter that you're going to be performing, what went through your mind like, what do I have to do to actually get ready for this show at this moment? Well, I've been like, I've been touring for uh, so long and I, I played other festivals before. Um, I'm kind of just used to it, you know, I, that's the truth. So uh, I didn't really think, you had to think about it too much. It's like just I'm playing a show. So whether I'm playing in front of like five people or 10 people or 100 people or 1,000 people, it's, you know, I'm gonna, the show's gonna be the same. What makes you unique and different? Um, I think that's maybe my influences or just my upbringing, uh, the, the people I'm around that influence me. Um, I, I just try to be honest with myself and you know I just like what I like and I wear what I wear. Um, nowadays I get blessed by Defend New Orleans. They give me nice clothes. So I, you know, I wear their clothes. <laughs> so what actually started you off in the industry? What, what, when did you come to the point where you said, this is what I want to do full time for the rest of my life as a career? So like in 2007, I was just doing it for fun. And then around 2010, I knew I wanted to make it a reality. And around 2013 was when I realized it can actually be a reality. And now it's actually coming to fruition right now. So uh, meeting Justin Peake, Beautiful Bells, and just seeing him and like how he talked about being a musician and doing it for a living and how do you conduct business and just doing it kind of all yourself DIY style and just just watching him work it, it, that was a big influence on me for sure and it made me realize that I can make a reality also meeting people like Janelle Jarrell and all these other producers or people who do the same thing and how they make a living from it um, I realized it, it can become a reality well, as far as um, you know future projects or any recent release projects kind of let us know what you've been working on and what you're looking to move forward with with your with your with your music and with your career well um, I released an EP uh, in September it's called Armwing Bow Unit uh, I'm currently getting prepared to release a new EP called Acts or uh, uh, Parts Act One and that should be released in May on Vibe Music Collective which is Amon Omari's uh, uh, Amon Amari's imprint. So there we go. This is AF and Nace Area. Tune in to mfamhq.com.